to a brand new vlog series. If you are new around here, my name is Natalie. I am a mum of two um, and we create videos, content, travel and a lot of Disney. And today is our pre-travel day. We are very excited. The weather is absolutely awful. It's pouring of rain and we are very much ready to go to Florida. But first of all, we have to pack because as you can see, there are no suitcases out. Bag of washing, oh, and a bra, one suitcase, but it's not at all ready yet. So we need to get the suitcases down. We are heading to the airport. What time is it now? It's nearly one o'clock. We're heading to the airport in about five hours time. Uh, once we've dropped the dog off, Orlando, it's my mum's, and um, we are staying at the Premier Inn for one night in the North Terminal before we fly out to London, from London Gatwick to Orlando tomorrow with British Airways. But today we have to pack and I haven't even started. I've got a lot of stuff downstairs, but I haven't actually put any of it away yet. So that is today's task, but I am just waiting. Oh, thank you. I'm just waiting for a delivery of some sweatshirts for my company that I'm just waiting to arrive because I've got to go and drop a couple of those off with girls in my team and have a quick cuppa and catch up before I go. But now it is time to just pack what we can, but this weather is just so, so dull. I mean, look, does it get any worse than this? We're taking two, how many suitcases? Four suitcases with us. Some real random items up in here. Prosecco glasses. Oh, another one. Prosecco glasses. Got some lanyards. And I've got my list of stuff that I need to take with me. That's coming. So we're going to start doing a bit of packing now. So I've arrived at my friend's house. The hoodies have arrived. And the dispatching unboxing team <laughs> is doing them. So we've gone with our company name on the back, which Claire's going to show you now. So it's got our Adventures by You on it. And they look really nice. I'm quite impressed with these. The pink's really nice, isn't it? Love the pink. Yeah, the, the, I think the Petra Blue is nice as well. Yeah. So we've got those. So they're going to be dispatched to our team in the next, well, it'll be two weeks now because they're not going to be here by the time I'm going away tomorrow. So I picked up all my bits from Claire's and I'm now in the midst of all of this. I'm not the best packer. I wish I could say I was really super organised, but I'm not. So I think I've just actually thrown a load of stuff in a suitcase. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've just thrown a lot of stuff. Crocs, thrown a lot of stuff in a suitcase. So that's that's where we're at. I've just done a, my last meeting of the day. That's done. Um, and I think we're pretty much ready to go. I've got Crocs. I've got my travel day stuff. Who knows, who knows? But I have my pillow, I have my pajamas, so we will be fine. We will be absolutely fine. So it's now, what time is it? Four o'clock. We've got to pick Hector up for a play date at 4.30. Then we're gonna come back, pack my very last bits, and then we're gonna to head to drop Le Chien off at my mum's house, and then probably head on our way to the airport. I think that's the plan. He's already got those, he's got pajamas. Okay. Um, I just need, actually, no, there's pyjamas downstairs on the um, table for him for, for, for um, the hotel tonight. And then we haven't eaten at, um, at Gatwick for a while. The last time I went was in COVID and we couldn't get in anywhere and everything shut at eight. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's open a little bit later. If not, then we will simply get a McDonald's. But we'll play it by ear. We're not in a rush, which is always good. All right, having a good sniff, seeing what's going on there. Yeah, are you having a little sniff? Seeing what's going on. Are we going away? Are we leaving you? Are we leaving you? Yes, we are. Right, up, ready to rock. Um, we have got a car that's far too small the other end. We are expecting this already. Um, the car that I booked is a Ford Edge, and I thought it was a Ford Escape, but it's not. It's a Ford Edge. Mm. Uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that when we get to MCO, that the... Um, car's going to be too small and we won't be able to get a bigger car so we're going to have to put all the suitcases in that car separate said children i'll take one he'll take another and then i will either get an uber or 
we'll get a lift or a Mears Connect, which is going to try and hope that we can get a bigger car. But then also there's part of me which is like, do we need a bigger car? Do we need to pay for a bigger car? But it's Easter and we know our chances are pretty slim. So we'll just, we'll wing it when we get there. So I'm not overly, overly concerned. But it's now five o'clock. I think we're going to get the last bits in the car. And then we're going to head on our way to our first stop, which is Cobham, which is our other house, um, where we will deposit the dog with my mother. Um, and then we're going to head to the pub for a quick drink because my brother has done a 52 mile walk today for mental health and they should be finishing about six. So I think we'll go for a quick drink with him and then we will head to Gatwick to do Twilight Drop Off. Twilight Drop Off, we know is between six and nine so and that's for flights leaving Gatwick tomorrow up to 1 p.m so we're going to get the north terminal park our car take our bags check them in and then we've only got our hand luggage and then we'll head to the premier Inn, and then we will go from there that is the plan so far let's go hello and welcome to a brand new vlog series if you are new around here my name is natalie i am a mum of two um, and we create videos content travel and a lot of disney and today is our pre-travel day we are very excited the weather is absolutely awful it's pouring of rain and we are very much ready to go to florida but first of all we have to pack because as you can see there are no suitcases out. Bag of washing, oh, and a bra, one suitcase, but it's not at all ready yet. So we need to get the suitcases down. We are heading to the airport. What time is it now? It's nearly one o'clock. We're heading to the airport in about five hours time. Uh, once we've dropped the dog off, Orlando, it's my mum's, and we are staying at the Premier Inn for one night in the North Terminal before we fly out to London, from London Gatwick to Orlando tomorrow with British Airways. But today we have to pack and I haven't even started. I've got a lot of stuff downstairs, but I haven't actually put any of it away yet. So that is today's task, but I am just waiting. Oh, thank you. I'm just waiting for a delivery of some sweatshirts for my company that I'm just waiting to arrive because I've got to go and drop a couple of those off with girls in my team and have a quick cuppa and catch up before I go. But now it is time to just pack what we can, but this weather is just so, so dull. This is always the fun part of packing a car. This is the Jenga, the car Jenga. Oh, I've got... And my mother has got to look after the plant, which is called Jamal. Yeah, brilliant. She's going to love that. Hello. What's up? There's your bag. There's your bag. Grab your bag. Come on, Lando. It's crazy dog to mothers. So the car is all packed up. We are ready to go. Uh, and yes, that is where we're at at the moment. I know the car is going to be too small when we get to the other side, MCO, but it's just one of those things. We're going to have to try and wing it. But now we are off to Cobham to drop the dog off. If the children can never get ready. Anyone would think they're not going on holiday tomorrow. Honestly, kids. Okay, I think we are all on our way. What we haven't got now, we will never have. But, oh God, I did pack my pillow. Yeah, I did pack my pillow. It was in the Nike bag. So we are on our way. Hopefully we'll get to Gatwick by about eight. We have to check our bags in until nine. So that's our cut off. I've got the plant. Do you want How are we feeling there? All good? Ready? Let's go. about seven minutes shuttle run away from the airport now we normally book valley 
but there would have been a reason why I didn't book family this time and chances are it was because it would be really expensive so we paid for two weeks parking 106 pounds which wasn't too bad um, I always recommend if you do book your parking to book it as soon as you book your flights because it does make it quite a bit cheaper okay so the holiday parking is next door to the long stay parking we've not done long stay here at Gatwick we've done long stay oh we've done a long stay at Heathrow but not at Gatwick so I'm assuming it's around here summer parking oh the next sign next right yeah the next right Gatwick holiday parking so I'm guessing there's the entrance and it does one of these takes photographs of your car which Tom I know you're very keen on Tom's always paranoid that someone's going to do something to the car. So, oh, it's very Jeez. bright. Do you have an pod? Do you have an pod in there? No, there's no pod. We have to, we have to get the, um, is that it? Please park in this lane. Oh, that was great. Okay, so where do we get the, the bus, bus from? The bus just... leave the car. You leave the key, do you? Drop off your keys. Park up, unload, drop off your keys. I don't want to trust them. So we've just dropped our keys here. Yeah, go on then quickly. So we've just dropped our keys here. It's like a big kind of water cabin. So we've dropped our keys and we're now... So now we're just going to wait for a bus to take us to the sat terminal. Where we're going to hopefully, hopefully check our, uh, check our bags in with British Airways Twilight check-in. That's the plan straightforward so far. It is so windy out there. It's absolutely biting cold. It's biting cold. Um, so we're just very much keen, oh very windset, to get ourselves some 30 degree heat. Ready dude? Does your husband have a real big bugbear about these travel aid things? Because Webbo has this huge thing that gets really irate if people are walking on them. Like, they're travel aid, they're to be walked on. Yeah, he really doesn't like it when people don't walk on them. So, come on, big guy. It's a group affair. God, my hair looks really bobby tonight, doesn't it? This wind does not help me out at all. So Twilight Check-in works and look how quiet it is. So Twilight Check-in is available if you are flying with British Airways up to 1pm the next day. So if you're flying up to 1pm the next day you can check your bags in easy overnight before your flight. So that's what we're doing, we're just checking all our bags in now and then we're going to head and go and get some food. It is so easy which means tomorrow morning will just be an absolute breeze. So Gatwick is absolutely dead at this time of night. Um, hardly anyone around, which I suspect will be completely different tomorrow morning because it's gonna be absolutely bonkers tomorrow morning. But that's fine, we've checked our bags in. So now we are just, everyone's a bit hungry. Hector's definitely getting a bit hungry. So now we're gonna go and grab some food. But honestly, if you are flying before 1 p.m. with British Airways and you're staying at the airport the night before, 
Why wouldn't you use Twilight Check-In? Just not sure why you wouldn't, but that's a little handy tip for you all. anything from the main meals. I had a chicken teriyaki rice bowl. Webby had a burger and Hex had a chicken katsu curry. It was fine. Um, 85 pounds later, mind you, but you know, it is what it is. I didn't think about that. The first monorail of the holiday. Oh, joy. I was hoping I'd have a bath. I'm happy. <laughs> we have arrived at the Premier Inn. We are in room 615, which is on the sixth floor. And this is, Premier Inns are always, you know what you're going to get. Clean and tidy. They're not the most excitable rooms, but clean and tidy fit for purpose. So this room cost us £87, including breakfast for four of us, because the kids eat free. And it's literally a short walk away from the terminal, so it just means we're going to save a little bit of time in the morning and we're not going to have to get up quite so early. So we're going to dump the bags and then I think, should we take Uno downstairs? Do you want to take Uno downstairs? Awesome. Charlie? I don't really Do want to make Hector cry, we've given him plus tens. So we've bought a new Uno, we've bought I've Uno No Mercy. Cheap. Do you want to play it, Hector? Yeah. That's what we've got. You know, no mercy. So we're going to give that a go. Um, I'll probably get a, there's a costa downstairs, so maybe a hot chocolate. We'll see. Let's go and explore. No. So we've come to the costa at the Premier Inn. What have you got? Kit Kat. A Kit Kat one. And it came with a free Kit Kat bunny. And you've just got a regular one. And Webby is now trying to break into the new set of Uno cards, which could mean that we might not play for the next hour. 
uh, and also the fact that probably we'll all have the same cards. No. So this is the new Uno Mercy game. No which, Mercy. No Mercy. Uno No Mercy. Show no mercy. <laughs> we bought this for the boarding house and they absolutely loved it. So we bought one for Charlie for his birthday coming up. Okay. How's your hot chocolate? Okay. Fantastic. Six. So you've been stung with a plus ten already? Keep counting, love. Oh. My way. What colour? Uh, yellow. I just need money like half an hour to sort the card out. What does what that mean? mean? You've got to swap the card with oh. Can I just say how much I love these? Look, who is this? It's a good day to have a good day. Focus on the first step, not the first step. You'll never get there if you never start. Perfection is overrated. The comeback is always stronger than the setback. I love that. Love a little affirmation board. Right, let's go and get a little bit of cold milk for a cup of tea in bed and then head up. I want to go up now. I know you're tired. We are now in the Premier Inn, all snuggled, gonna have a cup of tea, and then it is time for bed. We are all very tired. Um, this Premier Inn is great, really good. Um, it's cheap and cheerful, which is absolutely perfect for what we wanted to, to achieve. And the rooms, we really like the Premier Inn. That you know, you can know what you're going to get with them. You can't so, walk there, mate. <laughs> what? You can't walk there, mate. I think Charlie's managing to watch the television from the shower. So, um, so we I'm will say, off. hang on, we will say good night from the Premier Inn. And then tomorrow, join us as we fly to Orlando for two weeks at Walt Disney World. We cannot wait. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Night -night. We'll see you in the morning. Thirty, and we are up. We had a good night's sleep. Hector, not so much. Charlie and Hector, not so much apparently, because they were like, "Oh, my pillows dropped down." Oh, no, I lost. He lost his pillow. So hopefully, I might get some sleep on the plane. But it's seven thirty-ish, I think. So we're going to head for some breakfast. We do like Premier and breakfast now. The one we had in Germany was the no, best one we've had. That's German food. Um, but whether we can whether we can replicate no. that is another thing. Right. much quieter in here this morning so what we quite liked about this one there was loads of spaces to sit down so they had all lots of different areas here that you could sit down and then the breakfast is in here i did ask last night and we don't have to book so hopefully that is the case they've also got a really nice little outdoor area as well oh, sorry it's okay a really nice little outdoor area here with an outdoor bar so i'd imagine in the summer that's quite nice. Let's have a look. So kids have gone in. Gosh, it's rather large, <coughs> isn't it? So we paid $13.99 for breakfast and the kids get free breakfast. So that's what there is. Tea, coffee, juices, yogurts, cooked breakfast. They got pancakes, Hector. Do you want some pancakes? No? Oh, we're in one of those moods today. Throat's a bit sore. Juices, fruit, 
berries, fruit salad, granola. What do you fancy? You don't know? Chaz, what are you going for? What are you going for? Bacon. The usual. Bacon eggs. What's it like, Chaz? The beans are good. Nice. Daddy's one for spelling English, and I just want for some yogurt, a croissant, and some berries. Ooh. Oh, look! So that was nice. That was good. For £13.99. That's good. That's good. Floor six. Door £13.99. Who's got the key on me? Get the last of our bits and then we will head to the airport. So it says that our gate is going to be at 10.15 so it's just gone 10 past 8 so we've got loads of time which is really nice because obviously we've checked our bags in. So we're just going to grab our hand luggage now, head over to the terminal <coughs> and then we can go to check-in which will be good. But this little room has served us very well and for 87 pounds you really can't argue travel day outfit i have got a blue t-shirt from primark i have got my let's go to disney sweatshirt from the little emporium of magic which is super cute because it's got all my favorite characters down one arm and the other's down that arm so that i'm around a pair of air forces and just some m s mum jeans. So that is my outfit of the day. Charlie doing outfit of the day? No. Charles has got white jumper, Jordan shoes on, and jeans. Baggy jeans. Baggy jeans, baggy jeans. So these are the last of our bits to get packed up. And then once everybody's washed their faces, brushed their teeth, we will be on our way. easy enough. Children, you've got children. It literally takes five minutes to get there, which is not even that actually, a couple of minutes. It's really great. Right, let's go and see how they do the terminal. Okay, well, the Big bag. Time to check you've got everything with you. Dodgy shell necklace that you'll never wear again. Cheers. Now we are heading on the shuttle and we're going to head up to the South Terminal where we will hopefully just be able to walk through to security because it should be pretty quiet. Well, I know check-in's not going to be quiet, but everything else, we've got all of our stuff with us so we should be good to go. But it's super cold, it's really, really nippy so I have to say I am glad to be escaping this weather. Security was an actual breeze. It's busy, but because we didn't have to check in, it was quite easy. Uh, so now we are on the hunt for Jean-Paul Gautier for the 12 year old. Who wants Jean-Paul Gautier? Apparently that's what the kids are having these days. So we're on the hunt for his very first big boy bottle of aftershave. Eden and JD. So, what have you just bought? Jean Paul Gaultier. And you got it at a really good price. Yeah, for a 200 ml bottle, I got it for £69. That's amazing. So, you happy with that? Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so we're now just going to go and find the others. They are upstairs by JD. Just having a look. Charlie, I might look in the bookshop quickly. Okay. Something so joyful about going to a bookshop, isn't there? These are always my go-to books. I love, love, love business books. Just always having kind of personal development books. I really like these kind of books. But this is Stephen Bartlett, and I've actually just picked up this one for Charlie, because Charlie is convinced he's going to go to business school and Harvard, so I thought, well, I'll get him that. 
So we've got to that stage in the kids' life where they are forever living in JD Sports. So basically, I'm sitting manning all the bags whilst the children go off and do their shopping. Tom's gone to get a drink, um, and I've bought, our gate will be called in about 45 minutes, I think. So it's actually not as busy as I thought it was going to be here. Um, but we haven't had to queue for breakfast or anything like that because obviously we ate before we, we came. Uh, so that's something to consider. But yeah, no, so far, so good. Through security really quickly. Um, and just eager to go next, absolutely pouring down with rain. So very, very keen to get going now. So our gate has been called. We're off to gate, what gate are we? What gate are we? I think we're gate 19. Now we've just met up with our friends, Jem and Tash, who are coming to Florida. They're meeting up with us uh, in 10 days time, but they're flying first to the Dominican Republic, which is super fun. So we're now gonna get to gate, Charlie, what gate? 13? Gate 19. if we can swap with this guy but it's got loads of space so if you want to bag these seats they are uh, seat 20 so you do have a pull up TV and we are on the wing but there we go legs are like that lots of leg room
world of Disney, I think. We'll see how we feel. But I think we're about, we're about 50 minutes from landing now. 50 minutes, not long. So we have arrived at MCO. Now British Airways and Aer Lingus come into Terminal C. Now Terminal C is this shiny, spanky new terminal. The only downside is you are literally about a 10-12 minute walk to where you collect your luggage. So typically in an airport you would go through immigration and then collect your luggage here. You collect your luggage first before going through immigration. So there isn't that kind of tearing rush to get off the plane to get yourself to immigration because you're governed by how quickly your bags come through. Now we've got Global Entry, which is a five year, effectively a subscription where we've passed all the US immigration laws and we had to apply for it. I think it cost about, I wanna say 125 pounds per person for five years. And it's by far, if you're traveling to the US, more than once a year, it is worth its weight in gold. Terminal C is very nice. It's the worst terminal And very world. shiny, but I think we prefer the old one. It's the worst But terminal. I can't like it, that, that felt like a quicker walk. It did feel quick. But when we normally go into the old terminal, we get the Buddy Dyer on the monorail, which we didn't get this time. But we're here, so baggage claims. We are now at the mercy of how quickly our baggage can come through. So even if you pelt it off the plane, it makes no difference because you've still got to wait for your bags. And then over there is where your immigration is. It looks pretty quiet at the moment. They do normally tend to have quite a few people on at that time. And then we're going to head to where Group A is. That's where Global Entry is. What's your theory? What's your theory, Charlie? Um, so since we signed early, yeah. yeah, I mean late yesterday. Um, what with twilight check-in? Yeah, twilight check-in. I've got a theory that we are, all our bags were pushed to the front. <laughs> on the plane, like the yeah. first on? Mm -hmm. The first on, because we're at the front and you can't load a plane in the back. So what does that mean for our bags? We're going to be lost. You're going to be the last off. Do you reckon that's what's happened? I just said, I wish they had a Starbucks or something this side because I could do with the Starbucks. I could do with a barren. pink drink. It's a bit barren. barren. The other, the old terminal was just had a bit more character. We quite liked it, didn't it? I mean, this is very clean and tidy. Uh, the people behind us have got their bags already. They're priority. I know we're also there as well, which is a bit of a pain. So we'll wait and see. So currently, if we want to get a lift to Saratoga, it's going to be about $50. $50. Okay, so that's $50. Let's see what Uber is. So we find that Uber is more expensive here than Lyft. And as you can see, the cheapest Uber is going to be $53. So it's not, it's not, you know, it's $5, but it's still $5. So. We'll see if we can get a bigger car. If we can't, I think we'll just grab a quick Uber. We have just had the text to say that our room at Disney is ready. We are staying in the grandstand this time. This is where we stayed at Christmas. Now, it's not our favorite place to stay at Disney Saratoga, but actually we do quite like some aspects. You're close to the main uh, carriage house um, and there are barbecues right outside the apartments. Um, which we did say last time, if we stay at the grandstand, then we definitely would barbecue this trip, which I think we're going to do. Um, you know where we stayed? Yeah, they had the barbecues. And there was a laundry right there, so... Oh, okay, sorry. Oops. 
So apparently not being able to film in the terminal, got told off for that, but never mind, did it anyway. One of those things. Uh, they didn't ask me to delete any of the footage I did offer, but they were quite cool. So now we are off to collect our car from Avis. We, we have had a total result. The lovely guys at Avis gave us a free complimentary upgrade to a minivan. So we do not need to worry about getting an Uber to the resort. So we are now gonna head to Celebration to Publix, pick up some essentials. Dr. Pepper Cherry is on my list. What's on anyone's list? Chocolate. Code of Big Wave. Code of Big Wave. Hey. Maybe some wine. Um, it's 22 minutes from the airport and then we're gonna head to Saratoga. We're gonna pick up our, dump our bags. Tom's gonna go and get showered. I'm gonna unpack. Um, and then we will head into Disney Springs, but it is an absolutely then beautiful we'll evening. So we have just stopped by Publix in oh, celebration. Yeah to get some emergency supplies. This is one of our favorite supermarkets. Um, didn't think we'd get it done so early on this trip, but hey, you know. Oh, you cross it? Okay, we're gonna cross it. Let's see what we can find inside. Look at those cakes. I think we're gonna have to come here and get Charlie's birthday cake, Tom. Look at all these really cute. Look, there's the little peeps on top. In really good shape. They have all these cakes. Charlie, look at the cakes we're gonna to have to get you on for your birthday. Which one have you found? Which one do you want for your birthday? That one there. Ooh, that looks good. I am in Crema Heaven. Look. There we go. French vanilla. Like the look of that. French vanilla cold foam creamer. Ooh, French vanilla. I might have to get one of those. My coffee. That looks really good. So good. So good. So that was terrible because we were just going around playing supermarket suite. We put so much stuff in our trolley. But there were some good deals. Dr. Pepper Zero, buy two, get one free. Kona Long Board and Kona Big Wave, which is Webby's favourite beer. Buy one, get one free. Picked up some Ritz crackers just for the journey. Um, and now I'm going to go to the reception to pick up our Amazon deliveries and also pick up our owner's lockers. Um, so, Saratoga. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my God, it's got that smell. It's got that smell. I love, love, love this resort. So nice, thank you. And these are all the Easter services that you can get here. It's a really nice touch. And this is the big lobby here at Saratoga. Celebrate her story. So, Webby's done his run. What time is it, guys? Yeah. It is. I've got, I've got one of them. What time is it? Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock, which means well, it's 9, 10, 8, 11, 12, 1, 1 a.m. UK time, and we are heading into Disney Springs. This is what we love about Saratoga is that you can walk straight into Springs. I mean, look at that view. We absolutely love Disney Springs. It's one of our favorite, favorite places. So just across the water is Haleo, House of Blues, M &M. the m and m store, and the new summer house on the lake where we are eating next week. And then our favorite, the boathouse. Now the boathouse is one of our faves. 
It is busy tonight. It's Easter Friday. It's a bit expensive, the boathouse. The boathouse, yeah, it's not your cheapest option, but we tend to try and do the boathouse. We've done it most <laughs> trips. I love the lobster roll. And they've got really good bread. kids options and the bread is amazing. So I think we're gonna try and go to the new Indian quick service that's opened last time we were here and see if we can grab some food. Failing that, we might do deluxe burger or we might do blaze pizza. We will see. How long's that taken? How long has that taken, Tom? Tom? <coughs> Wow, so this is busy. So this is the queue for the boat. Now you pick the boat up here. My goodness, the queue's huge. Now this boat services Old Key West, Saratoga Springs and Port Orleans. Now I have a feeling the one on the right is Port Orleans. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the boat for Port Orleans and there's barely a queue there for the French Quarter um, for Saratoga Springs and Old Key West. So a lot of parent people are coming out now. They've been in Springs for a little while, so we're hoping we can still get some food. I'm sure we can. The temperature's really nice. I've got a sweater on, but I could easily wear shorts. I just don't want to wear them because be you know, I'm in, I'm in scabby travel clothes already, so it doesn't really matter. We are just waiting for our food. We went for two chicken tikka naan flatbreads, a buttered naan, a bowl, uh, we got a fountain drink and a beer, and we also got our DVC discount. So we're now just waiting for this little tappy thing to um, to buzz. It's, we're sitting outside, it's very pretty out here actually. It's very, it smells nice inside. It's got a nice, it's quite cool. And you've got like refillable drinks as well. What's the beer like? Nice. IPA. That's the signature eats, beer, isn't it? Yeah, the Eats IPA. Nice. Wait, Hector. Okay, Mommy has okay so we've time. gone with the naan bread pizzas, uh, plain naan, and this kind of moolie bowl, which looks quite nice. Are you gonna give it a go? Right. So, what are the what are the naan bread pizzas like? Yeah, good. I've never thought of putting. Chicken tikka masala on a pizza. They're surprisingly good. It does work. And that is really nice. I'm not a big chickpea fan, but they are really, really nice. So that's it. We're back home, back in our little little studio in Saratoga. Um, I've got a cup of tea on the go. I'm just doing a few last bits, but we are shattered. The time now is 10:15. So quarter past two at home. Uh, kiddos are about to zonk out on the sofa or the sofa bed. Um, and tomorrow we are just planning on taking it easy. We're going to go to Animal Kingdom with Think in the early evening. We might not even do that. We'll see how we go. We're here for two weeks, so we've got no rush, which is quite nice. But that's it. Travel day's over. We are here. We are very happy. We're very grateful that we're here. Um, the weather's beautiful. The room's beautiful. Everyone's happy, um, so it's time for us to get some sleep. And we will see you tomorrow for day one of our Easter Florida trip. Night night.